the purpose of this quick video is to give you some broad brush strokes just to remind you about the various sections of the paper and to use the rubric as well. Uh, the part that will show up first in your paper but will actually write last this semester is the abstract. It's just a hundred words and in it you're going to include the purpose, participants, conclusions, um, and you can take a look at some examples if you would like. Um, the section one is the introduction and literature review. You've written this section. Um, if your study has changed, you may need to update it, um, but it's past tense and for most of you it will be stable now. The methods section is section two, and again, you've written this section. The changes that you'll need to make this spring are to make sure it's in past tense and also uh, to update um, what really happened, and then your analysis um, section most of you need to update because you left it pretty vague, um, and then also your limitations because um, something may have happened during the study that further limited your ability to collect data. Um, this spring, the two sections we'll be working primarily on are the results and discussion. The results is section three, and the discussion is section four. The results you are truly just trying to present the evidence. What did you find? And for this, you're going to use your research questions, you're going to give us the answer, and then you're going to show us in your data where that supporting evidence is. On the other hand, the discussion is really where you make sense of those findings. So in this, you're going to be taking the data from section three, you're going back to section one, to the literature, and you're really working to interpret what you found and why. The uh, results section, you'll briefly restate your purpose and questions. You'll answer each of your questions in order. Um, really, subheadings and headings are going to be um, important here. And you're presenting your data. This section is long. It's 4,000 to 5,000 words. Um, it will also include tables and charts and um, help us navigate what you found. The discussion, again, is where you interpret. Um, you're going to return to the literature in section one. Did your findings disagree or agree with theory? Who's, um, you will definitely have citations in this section. And then you're going to state and defend implications. Uh, what did your findings mean for kind of the larger theory and then also for practice? So you'll make recommendations for practice about either things we should sustain or change or um, slightly alter. And then you'll also make recommendations for future research um, in terms of if you opened up some new avenues or some uh, surprising things happened. This section is, you know, um, about 1,200 to 2,000 words, and it will be in present tense. The next section of the paper is the reference list. Remember APA format, a DOI when available. Um, if it's used in the text, it's in the list. If it's not cited in the text any longer, remove it from the list. And just a reminder, this starts on a new page. And then your appendices, you typically are going to have your informed consent, your protocols, any supporting documents. In some instances, you may have your data or a coding scheme. Um, and just a reminder that for appendices, for appendices, each is a new page and each is a new letter. So appendix A, B, C, D, um, and so on through the document. The rubric for this fall will look similar, or I'm sorry, for this spring will look similar to the one for the fall um, where the uh, sort of elements are here exceeded the standard point value. The point values have changed in some instances from the fall. Um, and then down at the bottom, some there's the new section, there's the results and the discussion. So you can take a look at that. Um, so total the paper um, at the end uh, is worth up to 255 points. Um, and um, again, I'll ask you to self-assess when you turn in that final paper. So hopefully this just orients you to the kind of big picture of the paper and uh, can answer any questions that you might have as you're working on it.